some good coffee. What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Thomas and today we are looking at Supreme Week 6, the Doc Martens collaboration, the full drop list, the return of the cart. Is it actually dropping this week? You're gonna have to wait to the end of the video to find out. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Let's get right into it. Guys, we are super close to hitting 2K subs. I think we can hit it today, so please like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, I really appreciate it. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date every time I go live. I will be going live this Thursday to talk about the Supreme drop. As always, maybe cop something. I'm still not sure yet. Okay, Supreme Doc Martens, new version of the 1461 three-eyed shoe, not the two-eyed shoe. Leather upper with top coat that reveals color with wear. That's really cool. I love shoes that get worn and change color, kind of like the Lance Mountain Air Jordan 1 SBs. Airwear cushion sole, printed logo on insole and deboss logo at heel, made exclusively for Supreme. The 1461 three-eyed shoe will be offered in two colorways available march 21st this thursday and then available in asia march 23rd awesome so here are the pictures right there i think the first one is this red colorway that kind of turns to blue and then we have the black colorway which maybe turns a different color i'm not a fan of these guys really at all this is not on first impression doing it for me perhaps the black pair will actually look a little bit better, but this is the red colorway right here, and this is what it looks like when it wears. It has a green and then a blue underneath that, which might be your style. I'm not really feeling this design, but the 1461, I think that's a classic Doc Martens model. I'm not really a giant Doc Martens expert, but Doc Martens definitely have been growing on me recently, so I might consider picking up the black pair, but honestly, probably wouldn't unless I would be copying it to resell, which I could actually see some potential on these Doc Martens. We can look at some Supreme Doc Martens of the past, maybe before the drop on StockX and eBay, but those are both of the 1461 three-eyed shoes. What do you guys think of these latest Supreme Doc Martens? Here's the full drop list by Supreme Drops, our boy, shout out to him. And you can see right here, we got the matches down there, some pants for 148 that my webcam was covering, and then the cart, allegedly, coming out this week, 500 bucks, black cat hat, jersey I think could be really hot. I also think these in-store exclusive crew necks are gonna be fire. So if anyone out there is near a Supreme store, I would love a New York shirt. I would love, really, a Chicago shirt. I don't know, I think getting some of these crew necks could actually be a dope flip. So if you guys live near a store, I'd love to see everyone pick one up, and I think that would be the probably best flip this week. I'm thinking it's even going to be better than the Kermit and Muppet stuff. I'm saying it right now. But without further ado, let's just take a look at each individual item. We have the repeat leather belt. I've always been meaning to get one of these. I just never have. I'm not a giant belt guy. I have like two belts and they, they do the trick for me. I would like to eventually get like a black Supreme belt. I think these are about 148 estimated retail price. The Gore-Tex tape seam shell jacket. This is the big item this week, people. A lot of people have been waiting for the Kermit Gore-Tex, which is pretty cool. It's that taped seam yet again, which for the North Face, we did see the taped seams do a lot better. So I think this will actually do pretty well. I'm probably not gonna cop it just because it is so expensive and I already kind of got burned on the Supreme TNF Nupsy, which it was like, I can't believe that still didn't resell for as much as the, the tape seam, but you live and you learn. Overall, other colorways are super clean, and I do love me some Gore-Tex, but 400 bucks is just so steep, I'm just probably gonna divert attention to other items this week. My hooded sweatshirt is returning with that Futara logo. I think this is just a screen print. I'm not entirely sure. Nope, it's brushback fleece with embroidered logo. This could actually do decently well. The box logo still didn't do incredible, but maybe the hooded sweatshirt will do better. It probably does have, you know, we was raised on your shit on the back. I'm guessing it has that. The Supreme Mac Tools utility cart, guys. It's a cart. Maybe it's coming out this week. It has been postponed three separate times, I want to say. Yeah. It was postponed last season, it was postponed one of the weeks this year, and one of the other weeks for Spring Summer 24. And now it's apparently returning for a fourth time, I'll believe it when I see it, 500 bucks, estimated retail price, 
Kart fans, I'm sorry. It must have been very hard for you guys recently. Diamond matches also return. Talked about these in the drop list video where we thought these would come out, but they are not coming out. Well, they're coming out now. Probably my favorite item dropping this week is the Shop Small Box Crew Neck. I love this design. It's got New York, Milan, Los Angeles with the black. And then I'm sure we got like Tokyo, Seoul. We only see the Milan, which I don't know if I have any Italian fans. If you do live in Milan, bro, I would love this thing. But overall other colorways, I think the New York one looks so clean with that navy and gray. San Francisco right here, Giants colorway maybe. Shout out to you, Ernest. Maybe you could pick this guy up. That would be kind of cool. I don't know what the Chicago one is. I probably don't want a white one, but I think these would actually be pretty good for resale just because it's such a good ARC logo with the store name. I love the story behind that. Muppets fleece jersey. This guy is kind of interesting. I love the design. I love the colors, but the fleece, it's just kind of a crazy piece. Now, this is one of those Hail Mary type of vibes. I think it either will flop or resell for a lot i'm thinking it might just sell out and then resell for maybe 50 bucks above retail i'm not quite sure where to place this guy what do you guys think of the muppets fleece jersey it is that estimated 328 which is crazy because it's got to be so much warmer than the gore-tex and uh, quite a bit cheaper distress loose fish salvage jeans now damn it dude I fucking want these jeans, guys. I really do. I want some salvage jeans in my life. I need the jean heads to comment in the chat, but this is one of those items where I'm kind of like crackhead energy, really want to cop it. But $298, that's going to keep me away from copping those for personal. Maybe someday. Right now, we are really focused on saving up for the big house, the Supreme house, the Supreme Airstream. We're going to live in a Supreme Airstream and I got to get money for a down payment on my Supreme Airstream. So first things first, guys, right? Spiderweb football jersey. I'm definitely thinking about copping this guy for sure to resell. I think the black jersey is kind of a no-brainer. I'm also digging this white one that Cater wore. I wonder if that's actually worth getting because Cater wore it in the teaser preview video. I don't like the navy one or the blue one, blue and red. I'm not a huge fan of the orange and gray. So it's gonna be a toss up between these two, maybe game time decision, probably go for a double XL potentially, I don't know. But I think at 110, this is kind of a no brainer in terms of reselling. Jerseys are always pretty solid options. All right, the quilted work jacket by Realtree. Pretty cool, I like the reversible designs on this guy. Definitely more of a winter piece for sure. So I think unless you live in a pretty cold environment or want to save this guy until next year, I would definitely hold off or this upcoming winter. I like this one a lot though, because if you actually are a hunter and you hunt in the wilderness near a snowy area or up north, you can actually use this as functional camo, which is pretty fucking cool. Half tone short sleeve top. This guy's interesting. Got some Supreme dots filling out the sup on the side of the shirt available in three colorways or four. And this guy reminds me of a can of Sprite. And I like that a lot. Hooded zip up thermal right here. Not too much to say about this guy. Two camos, two blacks and whites or one black, one white each. And yeah, just a zip up waffle thermal. Nothing too crazy. Estimated price of that guy is 128. We got the military camp cap next. Always love a good camp cap to be honest, guys. All right, for some reason, the Supreme community website was not loading. So I'm here just on Supreme Drops' Twitter, gonna talk about the rest of the items. Here we go with some hats that are releasing this week. We got this Gore-Tex Sunshield hat, which is kind of crazy and actually a pretty solid summer item if you live in a super hot environment. Gore-Tex Supreme Box logo. Don't think this guy is going to really resell. In terms of items that will resell, I think the black cat mesh back five panel can actually do pretty well, especially in the camo black and blue colorway. I don't know, maybe the red could even do pretty good too. And then we also have these military camp cap with the Supreme 94th division on the back. I really love these two tiger camo hats, but also this army colored one right here is pretty freaking cool. Love the military styling on that piece right there. Washed tag short sleeve top is right here. This guy has the graffiti tag and otherwise a very simple short sleeve top embroidered logo. Absolutely cool, totally tubular. We also have the Doc Martens. We looked at those at the beginning of the video. Pinstripe crew neck right here, brushback fleece with embroidered logo. Love this pink guy as 
as well as the gray. These both look pretty cool. I'm not gonna cop it though, because again, it's getting pretty freaking hot out here in Arizona. Bocal small box sweater also, it's the all cotton Bocal, Bouquel, Le Mozzarelle. This sounds very Italian, I'm not sure though. Let's see the prices right here. We got some pants, some shorts, and I think that's mostly it. Let's take a gander on Supreme Drops' Twitter. And I think we have these guys, the Chino pants, the all cotton Chino twill with the embroidered logo. These are pretty crazy with the pink snake skins being absolutely wild. I think those could go kind of nuts. I'm just gonna say it right now. I think these all cotton Chino twills, maybe sleeper item of the week, not too sure. Pinstripe sweat shorts look pretty comfortable. 110 bucks, probably something like that. If I had to wager, we've already looked at the selvage jeans. And I wanna say, folks, I wanna say that that's it. Let's take a look at this drop list again. I mean, we have the matches, the Doc Martens, the cart, the crew neck, which I think are a solid item to go for. And I wanna hear people down in the comments. Are you near a Supreme store? Would you be down to maybe cop something for your boy? Let me know. We got a flannel coming now, and we have this shirt right here that I didn't look at. Let's see if we can find it. Bada bing, plaid flannel, all cotton, it's there. It's cool. I'm not a big flannel guy, but some people really are. And then the last but not least, we have the matching snake short sleeve shirt in that this cost material. Wow, we made it, guys. So what are you guys' thoughts on the Supreme Week 6 drop list? For me personally, I think it's a return to form for Supreme. We kind of had that reset week last week. I know we had the pressure washer that didn't sell out a couple other items. It was not that great, let's be honest. Right here, we're back with the sneaker collab, the Doc Martens, which is kind of a shoe sneaker boot hybrid kind of a deal. And we have some dope items coming from the preview. I'm super stoked to see those in-store crewnecks, the Muppet stuff, the Gore-Tex, the football jerseys, and even potentially the cart, if we're lucky. It's been your boy Thomas, guys, and I'm out. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him.